If only dogs could talk. If only then we'd find out what really happened, wouldn't we? An open and shut case. Well, the case is shut. But that dog at the bench would know what happened, I think. But would it? Would the dog really know what happened? What does it take to distract a dog? A ball, throwing a ball, some treats, someone that they know approaching them, they're excited. Perhaps you wave a ball or a treat, especially at a dog in a bush, it will follow you in the bush and disappear from the owner's sight. Would this have happened, do you think? Is there a possibility or is there no possibility at all, as the police tell us? Now, this case is very similar to the latest case. If you watch one of my other videos on Victoria Taylor, she's missing now. This is now, not last year, not last January. The police have disregarded the van that was seen in the area, the lay-by, the lay-by, which is right close to the water. Thank you for the people in my comments that have pointed that out, that live around the area. I have someone in my comments. Charlie, Char, mate, Char, Char Dickey. He's in the comments. And he walks through there nearly every day. That river where Nukula Bully supposedly fell into the river. So the lay-by is right by the river to park up, distract the dog, to do whatever it is that you're thinking might have happened, may have happened. The lay-by there, they could have done that. And Nicola Bully could have been kidnapped or murdered. Welcome to Al Don's Reviews and True Crime. So the dogs are our companions and spaniels, very intelligent. Do you know what the biggest... Do you know the group of people who find... Um, I'm going to be a bit morbid. Find dead bodies. Do you know what they are? Hmm. Dogs and dog walkers. Somebody walking the dog will discover a body because the dog will sniff the body out and go into the undergrowth or the bush or the riverbank. And the owner will follow on, wondering where the dog is, calling the dog. The dog's distracted. And that's how most bodies are found we have uh, a number of comments are saying about the lady she used to have arguments with with the dog being off the lead and this lady she would have an argument with um lived nearby didn't want the dog getting loose into her garden i believe if that's uh not true then correct me in the comments but those comments keep them coming they're great brilliant uh that was kind of uh, dismissed. It's like the partner thing, Paul. Oh, that was dismissed. They interview, half interview people. They don't ask the right sort of questions, do they? Really? Um, I haven't got time, really, but it'd be easy for me to apply for a private investigator license. And with the help of you, you good people and learning more as we go taking different courses um, looking at forensics etc we could ask the right sort of interview questions it's the same as victoria taylor very similar she has a partner and i've said don't know anything about it because there's no information release leave me alone it's probably suffering but is there information about the interview what have we found there if i was a partner of somebody who passed away unfortunately i 
with open arms I'd do every interview as long as they weren't nasty and drilling about it etc I'd answer every question if I had a friend that passed away as in the Jay Slater case I'd be open about it I wouldn't be sort of hidden or something and then have body language experts pick things out and realize I wasn't telling the truth because if you're even if you're involved in misdemeanors the police sometimes will ignore that bit because they're interested in the murder or the missing person rather I should say missing person sorry about that I shouldn't say murder not a very good word to use that's what should happen so the people open up and talk you can still open up and talk you won't incriminate yourself now I don't think they're gonna worry if you've done something wrong whether it's Jace later case whether you come forward for the Victoria Taylor case or the old Nicola bully case last year honestly it's hard to come up out with the truth straight away if you've done a little misdemeanor wrong isn't it you're going to go down the road of a lie and then a lie becomes a lie and we're all capable of it if we've done something wrong we all do don't we most of us do anyway do things wrong certain things wrong some more than others but best if we can or just put a halt and say yeah I lied about that because I did a certain thing wrong. I was in possession of something I shouldn't have been or something. And then I went along with Jay to the Airbnb. Or in this case, I was talking to Nicola and arguing. Or Victoria Taylor, I was talking to her and um, I didn't want to be involved in it. But now I want to come out and talk about it. So just come out and talk about it if you want to do it. Um, without police presence, do it on social media. Ideal. There's uh, a big audience, or sometimes a big audience out there for some people. Some content creators make a good living out of what they're doing. I'm not one of those. I do it, as I say, I don't, I don't do it for enjoyment. I just do it to put the message out there and to try and get some answers on suspicious cases. Because they are suspicious despite the police trying to push it under the rug and not telling the truth perhaps because they won't just come out and say oh we've got lack of resources we haven't got the money they just want to shove it under the rug well we don't really do we we don't as the police would say but they don't kind of really mean it do they if you have any more information and you want to come forward then please ring whatever number there is there, probably 101, isn't it? Or come on social media and talk about it. So that's from them, isn't it? That's ongoing. The same with all of these cases, all the missing people. And there are just so many of them. We talk about a few of them, but there are loads upon loads. You see them on the back of fans sometimes, don't you? This person is missing. We just kind of look and go, oh, shame. we just ignore it and carry on, don't we? But if we have got time, and as I say, it's not kind of enjoyable, but if we talk about these things, it really does open up questions. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on and uh, try and get on and enjoy our lives. But if you can, spare some thought. Don't burden it too much. And as I say, don't have any nasty dreams about it. And just keep commenting. Thank you very much. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. It's nice, okay? Oh, hello. My partner left this morning at half past eight to take my two children to school, and the dog went with her because we take the dog for a walk. Okay. She, I'm getting concerned because she hasn't returned home by half nine. She's usually back by half nine, so. I thought she must have got chatted with somebody. Um, I've been trying to ring her since about half ten. No reply. And then the school's just rung me to say that they've just found the dog. Somebody's found the dog. And my partner's put her phone down on a bench and the dog lead and she's nowhere to be seen. The 45-year-old woman who vanished while walking her dog along the road.